19 it goes like this the stock of M company has the expected rate of return of 20% for a holding period that is for a particular period 20% return and the N company has 16% expected return so there are two company stocks therein one is M other one is N the first one is having 20%, second one is having 16% return. The investors want to invest in both the securities. Calculate, question A, calculate the expected rate of return from the two asset portfolio. So if the investor invests in both the stocks that is M as well as N, what will be the return? That is the first question. So here, they have not mentioned about uh, the weightage of the investment in uh, uh, M and N. So they have just given investor wants to invest in both the securities. So assume fifty percent each. So investment will be 50% each because they are investing in both. So if it is so, we have here the weight is equal to proportion that is the one you have to remember. So I have given here M and N 50% each. So weightage will be 50%.5.5. Next, coming to the return or expected return of M company stock, expected return of N company stock. So they have given the first one M company had as 20%. N company as 16%. So we will go for that as it is ER of M that is expected return. So ER is equal to expected return of M company and N company 20% and 16%. So now we go for calculation of two assets portfolio. What is the expected return from two asset portfolio? An average basis. Based on the weight, it is nothing but weighted average. The calculation here is called weighted average. So, WM 0.5, ER of M 20, WN 0.5, ER of N 16%. So, 0.5 into 20, 0.5 into 16, that is. 18% two assets expected returns 18% that's the first part of the question A coming to the question B we have to read this very very carefully some tricky words will be there we have to observe that B, I am reading question B. Continuing the above two asset portfolio. So from the beginning, whatever we had, the some information will be same. The O company script is also included in the portfolio. O company script or a stock is also included in the portfolio by partly selling the investment in N company. So investor will sell N company investment to some extent and you will invest into Bo. That means M company will remain same. The weight in M company remains the same. 
only n company will get changed some portion of n company investment is invested in o company so n company weight will come down and o company is created let me continue here the investment in n company uh, partly selling the investment in n company by 20% of the total investment underline the word total investment so not the investment in n company itself in n company one part of that is taken out 20% of the total investment and the expected rate of return from o company is 22% for the same holding period what will be the return from three asset portfolio so i am going for here calculation of expected return from three assets portfolio first we have to remember the most important one that is old 50% investment in n company now 20% is sold 20% of total investment in n company is sold then what happens to that so out of 50% 20% is sold so weight of n will become 30 this is the most important i told you the most important word that total investment so not 20% of this 20% of the whole investment now let us see what are the given information wm wn wo M remains the same, fifty percent. N is thirty percent now. The new investment is twenty percent. So fifty percent, thirty percent, and twenty percent. First part of it. Then ER of M, ER of N, ER of O. As I have told, M and N, the returns will remain the same. 20% 16% and they are given in the problem return on o company scripts are given as 22% this is what given in the problem so now we have to go for three asset portfolio return so whatever we have having for one portfolio we have to repeat for three portfolios if it is five also it is same Six also same weight into expected return plus weight into expected return like that we have to keep on moving further. Point five into twenty. Point three zero into sixteen. Point two zero into twenty two. Point five into twenty ten. Point three into sixteen, four point eight. Point two into twenty two, four point four. Nineteen point two is the three assets expected returns. So three assets expected return is nineteen point two. So what the investor should do, whether he should go for two asset return or three asset return, if it comes, he has to choose the highest returns here, that is three asset portfolio nineteen point two percent.